everybody, welcome back to another morning word. Sorry about that. Um, just uh, read, I got lost my flow there. Let's get back on track. Morning, everybody, welcome back to another morning word. For those new to this, this is where we share a couple minute video, really just sharing from my own personal Bible study. Why? I want to see your life go from here to here. Uh, the, why do I say that? It's because look, God says this. He says, I come, the very reason I come is to give you life and life more abundantly. Great motivational words. Okay, but God says, listen, more important than that, I'm going to show you how to do it. And he says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And God was like basically saying, if you can think like me, there's no valley that you can't come through and there's no mountaintop that you can't reach because there is nothing that is impossible for God, which means that there is nothing that is impossible for you. And I truly believe that today. But listen, as we get into this, please get a pen, get a, get a book, get a notepad, make notes and then apply. Listening alone will not do it for you. So let's really get into this. We're going to be reading from the book of Joshua, and we're going to be reading from chapter 9, verse 14 to 15, and it reads this. The men, of, the men of Israel sampled their provisions, but did not inquire of the Lord. Then Joshua made a treaty of peace with them to let them live, and the leaders of the assembly ratified it by a oath. I'm going to put in here, acquire wisdom before making a decision. Now understand the nation of Israel's army was having great success, major success. As they have come out of Egypt, you know, everything that God had been doing for them was becoming widespread. Everybody was hearing how they were taking over kingdoms, how God's favor was upon them, there were miracles. So everybody naturally was fearful. Now, the king of um, Gibeon decided instead of trying to fight them, says, listen guys, ain't no point in trying to, trying to fight these guys. Let's try and trick them into a peace treaty. Now, we know they're trying to take over the whole land, but if we can trick them into, you know, giving us a peace treaty, because we know these are people of integrity, that's the best way uh, of doing that. So, obviously, they dress and they disguise themselves. Um, so, when they approach Joshua and these wise men, they, they trick them into making a peace treaty that they never should have. Now, what was the learning from that? The learning was, is that... Joshua never acquired the wisdom, didn't ask, especially of God, what he should do in this situation. He was just going with the flow of my emotions. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's just do it. And so many of us are doing things on our emotions or what feels like a good idea instead of getting wisdom first. And a lot of us, if we would just slow down in decision making, oh my gosh, God is talking to me right now. If we would just slow down in our decision making, if we were to acquire wisdom, seek wisdom, seek sound counsel, we would save ourselves from so much heartache, so much pain, so many issues. And this would have happened obviously for the nation of Israel as well. They would have saved themselves heartache. They should never have been in this peace treaty. But because they didn't inquire of the Lord, they made a wrong decision and made a poor, uh, in poor judgment. Now, here's a question of the day. Are you seeking wisdom before making a decision? Are you seeking good counsel before making a decision? Here's the lesson of the day. No major decision. Yeah, look, what you're going to eat this morning doesn't need wise counsel. But any major decision in life, any major decision, should not be made without first seeking wise counsel. Seeking the advice of those people who've been there and done it. Those people who've been successful in that area. And most importantly, seeking the wisdom of God. Never make a decision without first seeking wisdom. And that leads us to the action today. Do not make a decision before you seek out advice. Seek out advice, then make a decision. And at least then you know, I've made this decision in the best judgment and in the best way possible. That doesn't always mean it's gonna go right, but at least you did your due diligence. So God bless you. I really pray that helps anyone who's having to make some major decisions right now. And as we always say with Jen Holt, God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is our gift back to God. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get these videos Monday to Friday. But more importantly, please, please, please share this with one person because I truly believe this. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And if we can start to think like God, there is nothing that we can't achieve and nothing that we, we, you know, that we can't conquer. And I really believe that God wants to do that with you. So God bless you and see you soon for another video.